For the past uh, about over one and a half years, I've been having some issues with my neighbors who live uh, directly above my flat. I'm in a flat system. Uh, I live on the ground floor and there is a separate house on the first floor which is owned by, by these neighbors that I'm having issues with. They purchased the house in somewhere around August uh, of uh, 2018 and uh, I'm making this video in the June of 2020. And what happened was that uh, they started getting major renovation work done uh, and uh, which is okay, which is uh, their, certainly their right and they need to, I mean it was in quite a bad shape the house so they needed to get the work done, there is no problem there. But they did it with, they were doing, they started doing it with total disregard to uh, what was happening to my flat. Uh, it started with uh, them using some very heavy hammers and stuff on the first floor which I objected to, which they certainly stopped. Then they started working on uh, uh, getting all the windows and all the doors of the flat uh, removed. So major structure and they knocked off uh, uh, many walls in the in, in, in certain of certain rooms to kind of uh, like make uh, the, the like the kitchen wall was removed to make an open kitchen. So major structural changes they started doing, which uh, which I objected to because these flats are fifty over fifty years old, and the structures can't take such a beating. And uh, it had started uh, like cement and concrete had started falling uh, from the ceiling in my house, which is directly below their house. So considering all that, uh, and of course I'm putting the photos as you can see in the pictures, uh, what was happening at that time. Now, <coughs> uh, then... Uh, I didn't know what to do, so I approached, uh, I started writing um, to all the possible departments that are possible. Uh, I wrote to the, I have, over the period of time, I've written about 30 letters to the, to the police, including the police commissioner, the local DCP, the ACP, the SHO, generally to the police station. And uh, I also wrote to uh, the municipal corporation, uh, which supposed to, which is supposed to have some jurisdiction, because the police replied back and said that this is not an, this is not in their jurisdiction. You should, I should approach the municipal corporation. So I approached the municipal corporation with some letters. I am putting the letters online if you would like to see them. Of course, some of the parts may be edited in the sense that some of them, some of the things I may not be able to disclose. But I am putting the original letter. I also approached the DDA because these flats are made by the Delhi Development Authority. So I approached them. Then there is also, they were doing some plumbing work, which was also causing problems for my plumbing system. They moved my water tank from one location to another. They made an illegal structure on the roof. So about all that I approached, about the water system, I approached the Delhi Jal Board, the Delhi Water Department. And uh, it's been now, uh, and then finally, uh, I also wrote to the Home Ministry under which the police is there. I wrote to the Chief Minister. <coughs> I filed complaints with the Prime Minister's office. That is, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the current Prime Minister. <coughs> and uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is the current Chief Minister. I've, I also wrote to the Mayor. I sent letters to the governor. Uh, the governor currently is uh, Mr. Anil Bejo. So I tried every possible trick in the book to have them be reasonable. I was not saying that they should stop the work, but I just wanted them to be reasonable. Then finally I approached 
that I decided to approach the legal system and file a civil suit against the against them for damages and for kind of stopping the work. Now here is another interesting thing that happened. I have health issues, so I asked somebody to find me a lawyer who would be willing to kind of come to my house instead of me going to his. Uh, I mean, let's not get into that. Uh, basically, I found a lawyer. I talked to a f- talk. The first lawyer I found, I talked to him. I found him okay, and uh, I asked him what he could do. He told me what he could do and what we could, how we could approach the problem. And he said we will be able to get the work stopped. So we sent the op- the the neighbors uh, legal notice. they disregarded the legal notice we we i was hoping that they will get the legal notice and they will at least sit or sit across sit across the table and maybe we could work out something so that they can get their work done and i am not being bothered and my all the all the breakages that thing that's happening all the damage that is occurring to my property doesn't happen anyway nothing happened they ignored the legal notice and then my lawyer started deferring uh, now this we initiated somewhere in the april in march of 2019 and this lawyer kept deferring uh, i mean start did not work on the case at all till july of that year that is march april may june july that is four months he did nothing and after that i got a little uh, fed up so i started then i had to chase him every day and then finally in july he made the case and he filed it and thereafter so but in a nutshell right now and then in july he filed the case and we got the first that is when the case was uh agreed by the court to be taken up to be filed they agreed to file the to allow us to file the case and then the next date they gave us was for december so i we we sent them a legal notice i engaged the lawyer in march he he took four months to file the case which is a very long time and in july we filed the case and then in december is the first hearing okay now comes the interesting part i mean, this is how the so basically if you see in and then the next date after that we got was for somewhere in may of 2020 uh, march of 2020 and then this corona thing hit and uh, things got deferred and now we are in june of 2020 and uh, nothing has moved forward and yeah another thing on the f- on the first after admission on the first hearing my lawyer did not attend the court he did not go to the court so in a nutshell if you see what is happening is there is this neighbor who's destroying my house as you can see in these pictures i approached all the possible departments including the police the chief minister the prime minister's office the home ministry <coughs> dda the municipal corporation and uh, maybe i'm forgetting one or two some department at uh, the delhi jal board but there is nothing absolutely nothing anybody has been able to do i has has kind of agreed to do or done anything maybe there is something in their power that they can do the police i'm sure can uh, help me with the harassment part of the case because that is uh, something that is covered in the ipc i i have studied the ipc also a little bit but anyway i don't consider myself to be a lawyer i still i am using a lawyer so in one and a half years i have been able to achieve nothing i am my house is in a mess and uh, they've completed their work in the process 
and uh, my water supply is affected i don't have proper water supply from at least from the storage tank at the top. so partial i have partial okay for water supply and partially the water supply is not there so this is the kind of way they also yeah <laughs> one thing i'm forgetting in the process when when finally our case was filed and they received the legal uh, they received the, the summons and the notice for the case that had been filed they as a counter blast went to the police and filed a criminal complaint of me teasing the women of this house i'm basically dealing these neighbors are basically most of them are women they only have one man in the house who's the who's the younger son who's about 30 years of age but he stays in the background because the women are the ones who stay in the foreground and that's another strategy they using that these women are the ones i have to deal with so me being a male and i'm a i'm a single male i don't have any women in the house so me being a single male i have to deal with these women and they have this option all the time open to go and say that i teased them or i did something you know physical with them or i molested them uh, and uh, so that tactic they've used and they filed a criminal complaint against me in the police station which the police has accepted without even investigating the matter just on the basis of these women going and saying that i have molested and who did i molest i am a 56 55 year old man and the woman who i molest who i have allegedly molested is a 62 year old woman so you can imagine i'll i'm putting a photograph of her so you can imagine <clears throat> where i stand so this is my story uh, if you heard it till now if you heard the story till now and if you are still here and if you are a lawyer i i'm looking for some good lawyer because the lawyers have been finding up pretty terrible uh, they're not doing their job well enough so if you're a lawyer and if you can help me i'll be thankful of course not for free i have i'm willing to pay and uh, if there is uh, if you can if you know a lawyer please let me know if you have from all this what you've heard if you can uh have any suggestions please let me know and uh, uh please i won't say subscribe and do anything uh, give it a give this video a thumbs up uh, because that will make it reach more people so that maybe i will be able to get some uh some help uh, from somebody as far as if it reaches more people maybe somebody will have some suggestion that will be of use to me and uh, please share it also so that it reaches more and more people so that i can uh, maybe somebody is out there who can, i can help and basically the what i'm looking for right now is i'm looking for somebody to defend me uh, to help me fight the case against them and come to some reasonable conclusion as to uh, get my place fixed up and uh, i also don't ha- i also don't have access to the water supply my water tank is on the on their on their roof so which i'm legally i'm i should be able to access but they are not allowing me to access that so i need all these things worked out by somebody in the legal system so anyway so this is my story i don't have anything else to say so thank you very much thanks for watching if you stay, if you're still here and uh, please do share the share it and uh, give it a thumbs up so that just you know if you like more and more the more people who like the video the more it reaches out to people okay thanks a lot thanks for watching bye 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 thanks here is an excerpt from in hindi from uh, the complaint she has uh, given to the police against me i'm sorry if it's not very clear because uh, it's difficult to read what these people these uh, policemen write and their language is also quite absurd but here is what she has said पिछले कुछ महीनों से मेरे साथ शारीरिक व अश्लील हरकत कर चुका है मेरे साथ 
रास्ते में चलते चलते शारीरिक तौर पर छूना या घर में अचानक से घुसकर छेड़ना वह गंदी गंदी बातें करता है मैं समाज के बदनामी मैं समाज में बदनामी के डर से चुप रही और बच्चों को ना पता चले चल जाए और कोई खून खराबा ना हो के डर से चुप रही मैं बहुत मजबूर हो चुकी हूँ मेरी दो साल की पोती है जिसे वो कई बार जबरदस्ती सीढ़ी पर आकर गोदी में बुलाने को आवाज देता है और मुझे धमकी देता है कि तेरी पोती को भी नहीं छोड़ूंगा सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ स्टफ शी इज रिटन इट्स अमेजिंग how how low these people can get and you can see this is the woman the one you can see in the video this is the woman how aggressive she is can somebody do what she is saying he has been done to her so this is my story i don't have anything else to say so thank you very much thanks for watching if you stay, if you are still here and uh, please do share the share it and uh, give it a thumbs up so that just you know if you like more and more the more people who like the video the more it reaches out to people okay thanks a lot thanks for watching bye 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 thanks